So it appears a lot of people are apparently having problems with the latest episode of Violet Evergarden. So that's kind of where I want to start at first when it comes to this video. I want to talk about the issues people are having with this latest episode and see if it is justified or if it's blown out of proportion. We'll see where it goes. The train scene. This scene in particular with Violet standing up against the enemy soldiers on top of the train and for some reason Violet was able to take them out for the reason of them not firing their weapon at Violet. Now, looking at it from that perspective, it does seem bad. I mean, they had guns on Violet, they had a big group of soldiers, they should have been able to have, like, a firing squad and take her out like it's nothing, but instead, they decided to charge her, fight her, and then she whooped them and destroyed them. Now, let's just be real here, okay? There is some logical things that I could go on and explain why they probably did that, but most likely, at the end of the day, it probably was a cliché. But I am going to offer some clarification to how this is realistic in some aspects and why it's not as bad as everybody makes it appear to be. Number one, they are soldiers, yes. They did have guns on Violet. However, you got to remember something. They were on top of a train, a moving train at that. Now, I know there is a lot of movies, action shows and stuff out there, but with train scenes, but they don't typically showcase the true uh, nature of what it would be like probably on top of a train. It would be very hard to stand on top of a train. It would be very hard to, you know, maneuver around on a train. And so, typically, you know, shows, movies, whatever, they don't properly grasp that aspect. And in this case, them sitting on top of the train, you know, if they were to fire at Violet, there is a very likely chance that they could misfire, they would have shot their own guy, or they would have possibly have, like, ricocheted off the wall, like, because they were in a tunnel at the time, a bullet could have hit the tunnel, ricocheted, and hit one of them, For anything could have possibly have happened, so because of their position in sitting on top of the train, it does make sense why they weren't able to fire. That is some logic added to it. However, like I said, most likely at the end of the day, it probably was some plot armor and a cliche tied to violet but like i said there is some things to kind of clarify why it could be possible why they did that now carrying on let's also talk about the scene with violet how she blocked with her metal arms now uh, many are having issues with this, okay? And the issues people are having is that Violet, for some reason, she was able to reflect the, you know, grenade launcher that was being launched at her, and it reflected and hit the side of, you know, the tunnel, and that was basically it. Violet was okay. We gotta remember from what was established already, Violet's metal, like her metal arms, are really, really hard still. Adamantium, I think that's what it is. I think that's what it's called. Um, I could be wrong there. You can clarify in the comments below. But you gotta remember, this is in a series to where they have full metal type limbs. They, they can have limbs that, you know, are straight up metal and maneuver around better than our today's current technology. So, I mean, if you have something like that, obviously it being able to probably deflect a grenade launcher, it is in the realm of possibility. So this issue, I don't see why many are complaining about that one. When it comes to the train scene, when it comes to the bullets and all that, I could kind of understand that. But there you go. There, there's some of the issues people are having. Now, there is another one. And the other issue is Gil's brother, his reaction with Violet. Now, out of all of the reasons, like the one, the first two I've already mentioned, the one I'm about to talk about, I feel like everybody complaining about this one, it, it's unwarranted. It, it's completely unwarranted, and I will explain why. The issue people are having is that there was some forced melodrama with Gil's brother. For instance... He acting like he did towards Violet, it didn't make much sense. It felt like he came off being very forced. That's what everybody is saying when it comes to his character from this episode. And in fact, I don't think that at all. I actually think that the aspect with Gil's brother is probably the best parts of this episode. And the reason for it is because it was realistic. Let me kind of clarify. Ever since, you know, we met Violet as a character... She lacked empathy. I, I've talked about this many times, so I'm not going to go right back into that and kind of, you know, regurgitate what I've already said. But Violet, she's been going through a lot of changes, as we have clearly seen after this journey of the series. And Gil's brother is someone that has always looked at Violet as a tool, a weapon, something that cannot have empathy. It's it just, you know, a tool to be disposed of. That's how he's always viewed Violent, and we have seen this as has been established now we as the watchers we know how much violet has changed however 
This is the first time we get to see someone in the story see how much Violet has changed. Because ever since the beginning, he's always viewed Violet as like a weapon, a tool. But finally, after seeing how much progress she's made, he's starting to see signs of how she truly has changed. And she's no longer what she once was. This empty shell, this tool, this weapon just meant to kill people. He realizes that she's undergone a lot of changes. And that, you know, his brother's death has actually, in fact, changed her a lot since then. However, this is where the main realistic aspect of this episode comes in, and why everybody are probably saying it's melodrama. Gil's brother, he shows a lot of aggression towards Violet. He's been doing this constantly. He's always being aggressive. He always seems like he's mocking her, being petty in some ways. He's doing this, and the reason for it is actually very real, and the reason why is because he is venting on Violet. He is reflecting on Violet, and he's He's blaming himself, but he's directing his anger at Violet instead of directing it at himself. It's kind of like this. You are angry. You wish you could have done something, but then you realize you couldn't. So you decide to throw the, the pressure, the weight, and, you know, the problem onto someone else's shoulders. And that's kind of what he's doing. He's trying to use Violet as a coping mechanism. He probably, deep down, he blames himself for not being able to save his brother. And then now, because of Violet, how she lived, he decided to direct his hatred, his anger, and his, you know, dissatisfaction within himself towards Violet to be able to justify for he can live with himself. That's kind of how I took that scene with his character and how he was acting towards Violet throughout this episode. So like I said, it's it's realistic. It is. I mean, I know many might not like the way it was done, but I like that how, you know, it kind of expressed why he's been acting like he is because if he didn't have that reasoning, I would have felt like he was a very shallow character. He's definitely not shallow after this episode. So, carrying on, though, let's also talk about the uh, the final scene with, you know, Violet. Now, I already talked about how Violet was able to deflect the grenade launcher, but let's talk th about the man's reaction. So, he reacted, obviously. You know, Gil's brother, he reacted in a way that seemed very surprised and very shocked. And to kind of express why is because... Violet jumped in front of him, and it looked like she was going to take a bullet for the man, but in fact, she deflected the bullet or the grenade launcher and saved him. And in, in a way, she actually protected this man's life. And right before she actually did that in this episode, she stated she wanted to be able to protect his brother, but, you know, he, she couldn't. And she's trying to protect people, she doesn't want to kill people, and so in a way, she kind of upheld what she said right after what she stated to Gil's brother and protected him for he wouldn't die from that grenade launcher. So, once again, it's showing that Violet has made solid progression, and his facial expression proves that a lot, that Violet is definitely a changed person. She now has empathy. Okay, so that's about it when it comes to this episode, in terms of content-wise. I mean, the only thing to really dive into now is the fact that there is a train that's connecting the continents and stuff, and right now you have some rebels not wanting that to happen because they want the war the war to continue going on because everybody has their own reasons to fight, and that's basically the other little plot line going on throughout this episode, so that's about it. So let's talk about uh, how next week is the finale. Yeah, apparently next week is the finale. Now, I know, I know many of you are saying, well, oh, chibi, 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 there's 14 episodes. Next week is 13 episodes. Yes, I know. I know, I know, but let me clarify. Next episode is the finale for Winter of Anime 2018. And the episode 14 is an OVA. That's going to be coming with the Blu-ray DVD release. So even though there is going to be 14 episodes, it's not going to be coming out in two weeks from now. So technically, next episode is the finale until the Blu-rays come out for the series. And then you can watch the OVA. So yeah. Next week, finale, and, uh, gonna miss this series. I will. I've actually enjoyed it quite a bit. I know it's had its ups and downs for many, but I personally have been enjoying this series. I've enjoyed the journey of Violet Evergarden. It's been ha I've had a lot of fun watching it, and hopefully one day it does get a season two. But I'm gonna save my thoughts on that until the finale, when it comes out next week. So, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoy my content, you know, please subscribe. If you like this video, please leave a like. And I love you guys. Please be safe, stay healthy, and you guys, I love you so much. Chibi out.